Hi guys, it's UK Admin here. It's the 17th of the 9th, 2013. The time is now precisely exactly 10 a.m. Um, this movie today, guys, is not um, a help or a tutorial in any way. It's just basically to help and show a few close friends of mine on Steam and outside of Steam how the KF Web Admin interface works and what it actually looks like. Um, but if you do have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below and I will, you know, I'll gladly help you out if I can. So basically, to all friends that are watching this and anybody else, uh, this is basically the login page. You can use Chrome, um, Internet Explorer, whichever web browser you prefer. Um, and at the top of your, um, at the top of your, uh, your, the browser that you're using, if you log in using for this example, you don't actually type it here, but at the top of your browser you do HTTP colon forward slash, and then you do the full IP address. So for example, it'll be, I don't know, uh, one 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 dot twenty one dot one dot ten and then <coughs> you basically do a call on and then you do the server port so if the port's on by default seven sorry eight oh seven five that's exactly what you would type in your browser URL. Oh sorry I missed the forward slash there. So you do forward slash forward slash http colon forward slash forward slash and then you hit enter and it will give you this box here the auth authentication required which you can see me typing in at the moment um obviously for for personal reasons my ip uh to uh the servers that i admin on um are going to be kept private in this video cuz obviously the movie itself is going on youtube uh but to actually log in um obviously this part will be censored as well um the login username now if you have admins and groups enabled on your server you would log in using the name but the default password would be admin um if you don't have um uh, user users and groups enabled on your killing floor server so mine at the moment is uh, a custom one um, and the password will be obviously censored as well so when you actually log in this is the first page you come to um, it's the current game state where you can select your maps I'm just going to do this quickly because there's quite a bit to go through and then you've got the players connected um, at the moment nobody's connected server console and then you've got uh, the mutators which I'll just quickly scroll down very quickly and show you at the moment we've got um, anti-blocker on and kill messages so that's what's enabled on this current server at the moment so just quickly scroll down and that's pretty much it if you want to enable um, one of the mutators you just basically check it and click select set sorry set the selected mutator and then basically you just go back up to the top select game okay once you've selected the mutators and then you basically choose a map from the map list so for example you might press uh, KF crash and then you'll click switch and then the server will rotate but I'm not going to rotate it now um, again there's a uh, other menus go to the defaults tab um, you've got the maps section first so that's what that looks like basically that's this side here are the maps in rotation or should I say the maps in cycle then you've got chat basically your chat options uh, game, diff the game difficulty, the game length, so on and so on. Um, you've got kick voting, what you've got that enabled to. Uh, map voting, again, they're your basic standard options. Might have changed one or two of them, I'm not sure, I can't remember from, from, from it being rented um, on this particular server. Um, and then basically you've got uh, the rules again, I don't change any of these, they just stay as they are default uh, server oh sorry sorry missed that missed it out you've got a sandbox I don't change anything of these you just leave this alone but by all means feel free to mess around with it yourselves on your own server um, you've got the server um, option there uh, menu and then you've got the access access control policies or access policies uh, this is where you would manage um, your ban list so if you ban somebody on the server the names and IPs and IDs for the killing floor would appear in this list as you can see there's nobody banned on this server currently um, and the voting config again it's default this is in this is here by default I've, I've never changed this or done anything with it but yeah that's pretty much it you've got a restart level option which again we never use because obviously if I'm on the server I just do it within the server console or you have a key to bind it and just do it manually via the console but that's pretty much it that's the web admin interface um, admins and groups on this particular server at the moment is disabled so might be a bit more on that in the future 
But um, yeah, to my friends that wanted to actually see the web admin interface, I hope this gives you a general idea of what the web admin interface looks like and I hope it was helpful. And again, anybody else on the World Wide Web or on YouTube that has any questions regarding the Killing Floor web admin interface, then please feel free at any time to leave a comment below. And as always, if you enjoyed this movie, guys, please comment, like and share as always and uh, take care. Catch you later. Bye bye.